And what a drop-off. Check out this graphic. In the Premier League last season, of course, finishing second, they're currently in 10th position. FA Cup winners, League Cup winners last season, eliminated out of both domestic cup competitions this season at the fourth round stage. Champions League lost in the final, we know, against Real Madrid as they went for four trophies last season. This season still in the Champions League in the round of 16, but they must face their old adversaries, Real Madrid. They're saying he cannot really explain. He said that in other interviews as well after the game yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, Danny, can you explain, not just yesterday, but the season so far? Yeah, from on the pitch, I look at Jurgen Klopp and I think he's a magnificent manager. He's been one of the best managers in the Premier League. But even the top managers can be very stubborn. And that's where he's at at the moment. If you look at the fact Liverpool concede in early goals, that's something that Jurgen Klopp says he's getting frustrated with. The problem is we know Liverpool play at 100 miles an hour. That's fine. When they've got the ball, they play 100 miles an hour. Everybody knows that's how they play. The problem is when they lose the ball they're not then pressing how they used to press. Now, Mane is obviously a big part of this, but you look at the front three for Liverpool at the moment. So, yesterday was Gakpo, Nunez and Salah. The problem is, Liverpool for so long have played with a false number nine, whether that be Jota or whether that be Firmino. So, more often than not, you will have two forwards going forward and then your false nine will drop into that midfield area. The problem that they're having now is that when they lose the ball... All of the front three, they're beyond the ball. They can have nothing to do with the press whatsoever because they're beyond the ball. The opposition are winning the ball back. Then because there's no false number nine, they're missing a man in midfield. The midfield then is under unbelievable pressure to go and press. They're trying to press from a greater distance. The two fullbacks are gone. And this is where the centre-backs are struggling. People talk about Van Dijk being out and that's the problem that's not the problem because he started four of the seven losses that they've had this season so for me it's the infrastructure of the team and Jurgen Klopp trying to play away without the players that he used to have wow love the detail Rob agree um with some of it I do yeah I think there's a stubborn aspect to him um but I think in terms of criticizing what he's doing and how he's got to do this and got to do that he's done it for six years I mean, it's not as though he's changed his, his philosophy and he's, he's changed as a manager. So I think we can get into the details of who's pressing and who's dropping into midfield, and I think there's some value in that. But for me, it's more of a bigger picture. It's more of a, a, a squad situation. It's always a combination of factors for me. It's not... The reason why Liverpool are doing what they're doing now is not just because of that, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a combination of factors. Incredibly difficult, long season last year. A midfield that absolutely needs rebuilding almost totally rebuilding, and then it falls on the, the, the defensive side of things. I think the stubborn part of it is true when you think of um, Alexander-Arnold. How many times have we picked out situations where he gets caught and caught and caught? You know, you'd like to see the manager make an adjustment there, but I think there's a bigger picture. I think we can talk about on-field stuff all, all day long, but I think the off-field investment continued from FSG is what, what's the real point of all this because they want to sell so we don't they're know looking they're to sell to it doesn't it doesn't feel like they're ready or motivated for a big refresh a big reinvestment and if that's not upcoming and we'll see how they get on in the, the latter ends of this of the season course in the champions league that's when you start to think jürgen klopp seven years at liverpool seven years at his previous clubs if there's not an investment coming in or he doesn't feel there is he might say in the summer time for a new challenge Rob robbie but then as a manager, then, this is why I say that it is on the field and it is a stubbornness from Klopp. As a manager, if you don't have the players to play the way that you want to play, is it not your job as a manager, then, to adjust? Yeah, it's his job, but I think the trust is there that he's done an amazing job where he's built this team to a point where they've won everything. It, it, it's too simplistic for me to think mm. that it's him and not a bigger picture of needing new players, particularly in the midfield. One word answer. Could he walk away or be fired? Which is more likely? It, it, it would be walking away, not being fired. Not being fired, could walk away in the summer. OK, we've got to move on, Chaps. Thank you very much. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.